So one thing I've mentioned a few times on the channel is I'm not a huge fan of cutting threads using the lathe's lead screw. It's really just personal preference. I have nothing against using the lathe to cut threads. In fact, it does a pretty good job at doing it. It's just when I need threads cut, I'll try and use a store-bought bolt or I'll use a thread cutting die. To me, it's just faster and easier. Of course though, there is the occasional thread that needs to be cut with the lathe. Generally, it's a non-standard thread or one that's less common. I do have the odd non-standard die. This one's M12 by 1 and M10 by 0.75. Technically, these are fine pitch metric, but they aren't that common. I bought these because I needed to cut a lot in these threads, so it was just a lot easier for me to buy these dies. But for the most part, if I need a one-off thread, I'm going to use the lathe. And that's the reason for this video. I have a few imperial threads that I need cut, and instead of buying a tap and die set, I thought I'd use the lathe. There's no point in me spending 75 bucks on a bunch of taps and dies that I'll only use once or twice. Now here's the problem. The lead screw pitch on this lathe is 1.5mm. It's set up for metric. Thankfully though, this shouldn't stop us from cutting an imperial thread. It's not listed on the lathe, but thankfully there are gear ratios that will allow me to cut imperial threads with this lathe. I know that on bigger lathes, that is a feature that's standard, but here, not so much. Now, if you really want to, you can calculate the gear ratio by hand using a calculator, but thankfully, Little Machine Shop has done the hard part for us. They have an online calculator which will tell you what gears that you need and which order to put them in depending on what size lathe that you have and the TPI of thread that you need to cut. And for those of you that have an imperial lathe, Little Machine Shop also has gear ratio calculators that will allow you to cut metric threads on your lathe. Now the thread I want to cut is part of a quick change tool holder for the mill and it needs a 3 8 24 pitch thread. This will allow me to thread on my Rome small size Jacobs chuck and use it in the mill. I'll need a 24 TPI thread, and according to the calculator, I'll need a 50, 55, 60 and 65 tooth gear. Now I don't have all of those as standard, the mini lathe comes with some, but not all of them. But thankfully I have my dividing head, so I'll make the ones that I don't have from aluminium. And I'll put those gears into the mini lathe. One of the weakest parts of the mini lathe has always been the gear banjo adjustment, but I've got the gears in, so let's see how it works. I'll first do a quick test run in brass just to make sure it works. One thing I will note is the conversion isn't perfect. For this thread pitch, it comes out to 24.015 TPI, and that's not 100% correct, but for what we're doing, it should be fine. Now the most important thing to mention here is, once the cut is done, you have to run the lathe in reverse to back up the carriage, in order to take the next cut. Whatever you do, don't disengage the half nut. If you have a threading dial, that won't work, because they're not really set up for cutting these types of threads. Apart from that, the rest of the cut is done pretty much as normal. I don't have any thread measuring wire, so I'm just going off the numbers on a thread chart and I hope the depth is correct, and I'm hoping that it works out in the end. And to my relief, that threads on really nicely. I attach the test indicator to measure the runout, and it comes out to being about 0.08mm, which is comparable to the runout that I get using the factory Morse 1 Arbor. Overall, not a bad result. We are dealing with a drill chuck, and runout is expected. I'll finish off the video by making the final arbor, which will be used with the other quick change mill tooling. 
My plan is to use this drill chuck when there's very little vertical clearance on the Z-axis, as the B22 chuck that I normally use takes up a lot of space. Plus it is currently connected to a Morse 3 taper, so swapping out this one will be a lot quicker. I do have plans to make a quick change adapter for that in the future, but that's an idea for another time. For the moment though, this smaller one will be perfect for small size drills. Overall, I'm really happy that I'm able to cut Imperial threads. I don't deal with them that often, but I do have quite a few that I need to cut in some upcoming videos, and I'm really happy that I'll be able to cut them with the lathe, rather than shelling out for a bunch of taps that I'll probably use once or twice. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching, see you next time.